So page 46. It was then the fox appeared. Good morning, said the fox. Good morning, the little prince answered politely, though when he turned around he saw nothing. I'm here, the voice said, under the apple tree. Who are you, the little princess? You're very pretty. I'm a fox, the fox said. Come and play with me, the little prince proposed. I'm feeling so sad. I can't play with you, the fox said. I'm not tamed. Huh? Excuse me, said the little prince, but upon reflection he added, what does tamed mean? You're not from around here, the fox said. What are you looking for? I'm looking for people, said the little prince. What does tamed mean? People, said the fox, have guns and they hunt it. It's quite troublesome. And they also raise chicken. That's the only interesting thing about them. Are you looking for chickens? No, said the little prince. I'm looking for friends. What does tamed mean? It's something that's been too often neglected it means to create ties to create ties that's right the fox said for me you're only a little boy just like a hundred thousand other little boys and i have no need of you you have no need of me either for you i'm only a fox like a hundred thousand other foxes but if you tame me we'll need each other you'll be the only boy in the world for me i'll be the only fox in the world for you i'm beginning to understand the little prince said there's a flower i think she's tamed me Possibly, the fox said, on earth one sees all th kinds of things. Oh, this is an earth? On, on earth? The little prince said. The fox seemed quite intrigued. On another planet? Yes. Are there hunters on that planet? No. Thou, that's interesting. And chickens? No. Nothing's perfect, sighed the fox, but he returned to his idea. My life is monotonous. I hunt chickens. People hunt me. All chickens are just alike, and all men are just alike. So I'm rather bored. But if you tame me, my life will be filled with sunshine. I'll know the sound of footsteps that will be different from all the rest. Other footsteps send me back underground. Yours will call me out of my bar like music. And then look, you see the wheat fields over there? I don't eat bread. For me, wheat is of no use whatever. Wheat fields say nothing to me, which is sad. But you have hair the color of gold, so it will be wonderful once you've tamed me. The wheat which is golden will remind me of you, and I'll love the sound of the wind and the wheat. The fox fell, fell silent and stared at the little prince for a while. Please, tame me, he said. I like to, the little prince replied, but I haven't much time. I have friends to find and so many things to learn. The only things you will learn are the things you tame me, said the fox people haven't time to learn anything they buy things ready made in stores but since there are no stores where can you where you can buy friends people no longer have friends if you want a friend tame me what do i have to do asked the little prince you have to be very patient the fox answered first you'll sit down a little ways away from me over there in the grass i'll watch you out of the corner of my eye and you won't say anything language is a source of misunderstandings but day by day you'll be able to sit a little closer The next day, the little prince returned. It would have been better to return at the same time, the fox said. For instance, if you come at four in the afternoon, I'll begin to be happy by three. The closer it gets to four, the happier I'll feel. By four, I'll be all excited and worried. I'll discover what it costs to be happy. But if you come at any old time, I'll never know what I should prepare my heart. There must be rights. What's a rights? asked the little prince. There's nothing that's been too often neglected said the fox it's the fact that one day is different from the other one hour from the other hours my hunters for example have a right they dance with the village girls on thursday so thursday's a wonderful day i can take a stroll all around the way to the vineyards if the dancers dance whenever they chose the day would be all just alike and i have no holidays at all that was how the little prince tamed the fox and when the time to leave was near ah the fox said i shall weep it's your own fault, the little princess. I never wanted to do you any harm, but you insisted that I tame you. Yes, of course, the fox said, but you're going to weep, said the little prince. Yes, of course, the fox said. Then you get nothing out of it? I get something, the fox said, because of the color of the wheat. Then he added, go look at the roses again. You'll understand that yours is the only rose in all the world. Then come back to say goodbye, and I'll make you the gift of a secret. The little prince went to look at the roses again. You're not at all like my rose. You're nothing at all yet, he told them. No one has tamed you, and you haven't tamed anyone. You're the way my fox was. He was just a fox like a hundred thousand others, but I've made him my friend, and now he's the only fox in all the world. And the roses were humbled. You're lovely, but you're empty, he went on. One couldn't die for you. Of course, an ordinary passerby would think my rose looked just like you, but my rose, all on her own, is more important than all of you together, since she's the one I've watered, since she's the one I put under glass. 
since she's the one I sheltered behind a screen, since she's the one for whom I killed the caterpillars, except the two or three for butterflies. She's the one I listened to when she complained, and when she boasted, or even sometimes when she said nothing at all, since she's my rose. And he went back to the fox. Goodbye, he said. Goodbye, said the fox. Here is my secret. It's quite simple. One sees clearly only with the heart. Anything essential is invisible to the eyes. Anything essential is invisible to the eyes, the little prince repeated in order to remember. It's time you spent on... It's the time you spent on your rose that makes your rose so important. It's the time I spent on my rose, the little prince repeated in order to remember. People have forgotten this truth, the fox said. But you mustn't forget it. You become responsible forever for what, for what you've tamed. You're responsible for your rose. I'm responsible for my rose, the little prince repeated in order to remember. Good morning, said the little prince. Good morning, said the railway switchman. What is it that you do here, asked the little prince. I store the travels into bundles of a thousand, the switchman said. I dispatch the trains that carry them, sometimes to the right, sometimes to the left. And a brightly lit express train, roaring like thunder, shook the switchman's cabin. What a hurry they're in, said the little prince. What are they looking for? Not even the engineer on the locomotive knows, the switchman said. And another brightly lit express train thundered by in the opposite direction. And they coming back already? asked the little prince. It's not the same ones, the switchman says. It's an exchange. They weren't satisfied, were they? asked the little prince. No one is ever satisfied where they are. Where he is, the switchman said. And a third brightly lit express train thundered past. And they're they chasing the first travelers, asked the little prince. They're not chasing anything, the switchman says. They're sleeping in there, or else they're yawning. Only the children are pressing their nose against the window panes. Only the children know what they're looking for, said the little prince. They spend their time on a ragdoll, and it becomes very important. And if it's taken away from them, they cry. They're lucky. Good morning, said the little prince. Good morning, said the sales clerk. This was a sales clerk who sold pills invented to quench thirst. Swallow one a week, and you no longer feel any need to drink. Why do you sell these pills? They save so much time, the clerk said. Experts have calculated that you can save 53 minutes a week. And what do you do with those 53 minutes? Whatever you like. If I had 53 minutes to spend as I liked, the little prince said to himself, I'd walk very slowly toward a water fountain. <laughs>